This week, downtown Lansing will be transformed into a street festival that's expected to draw out thousands. This is the second annual blockade festival and will shut down Washington Square so that residents can walk the streets to listen to music, try out new foods and explore all the city has to offer. One event coordinator says the festival is growing this year. We have, I think, about 40 vendors that are coming in that are going to be on the street. We have, once again, four stages that are going to be there, as well as all of the businesses like Tatse, who are going to be open, um, Sweet Encounters is going to be open, um, and all of the different businesses that are downtown. Last year, Iman says about 3,000 people came out for the event, which she says signals that people are hungry to connect with their neighbors. Yeah. Really to connect with the community. Um, find something new to do. Um, there are several organizations that are also setting up um, the day of um, Lansing Art Gallery, who is now in the Naps building. They'll be participating this year. Um, you have Downtown Lansing Incorporated, which is a huge sponsor for it, as well as the city of Lansing. So it's a big time for people to come together. I feel like it's almost like the kickoff of the summer season for festivals. Blockade starts at 501 Thursday night and runs until 11 p.m. in Washington Square. If you'd like to learn more about this this year's event, we have a link on our website. That's fox47news.com. Your neighborhood reporter, Erica Murphy, Fox 47 News.